guys last week and talk about what you really liked. Uh, well, uh, the biggest thing I was pleased with was we traveled well. We had about a nine hour bus ride and um, the guys, um, we had a great jog through Friday, great energy, just getting off the bus and carried over to Saturday. Um, it was from straight from pregame warmups to the final whistle. I thought our guys played with great emotion, great passion. Uh, we executed well. We dominated it at, at the line of scrimmage on both sides, and that's how you win ball games. Why is it so great to see that as a new coach with a, such a complete road game? Well, anytime you play on the road, especially in conference, is always difficult. You're going into a different environment. You sleep in a different bed. I don't think people realize um, all the things that, that take place. Um, but for our guys, um, for the first time winning on the road this season, it was a, it was special. And um, hopefully that um, you know we're starting to hit our midseason stride. You guys have an option team this week. Is there anything you mean you've seen this season that can help prepare you for the option? I mean, it's drastically different from last week, certainly. Oh, there, there's there's no question. No, it, it's hard to simulate the option. Um, you know, we work on it occasionally during camp and work on it a little bit at different points during the season because we know you know we got the Citadel, we have Walford, two teams you got to beat. Um, to reach your goals, and uh, they do a great job of running it. Um, you know, it reminds me a lot when I first started coaching and playing, um, we, we were running the wide open spread, and nobody nobody saw that. That was kind of unique to people. Um, now everybody does that, and the option's gone back to being the, um, the, the one that you don't see much. So um, the biggest thing with that is it's just very difficult to prepare for because it's hard to simulate and practice. Um, but we got a good plan, and we've been practicing good at it thus far this week. But, boy, the game speed of it is very difficult to defend. Halfway through the season, how are you feeling about your team? I feel like we got a, a really good football team. I think that, um, you know, we played well in every ball game. Um, you know, Chattanooga, we had a chance to win late, didn't make a couple plays. Um, Louisville is what it is. Um, and then the other games we played very well in. So right now I'm pleased with where we're at. We got a long ways to go. Um, and hopefully that this week we can um, we can find a way to win another ball game. How do you think you've evolved from game one to today? Um, I think we've become a more physical football team. You always find out what your identity is after about week two or three. And, um, you know, we're really good up front on both sides. And, um, we need to develop us a physical swagger about ourselves, and I think we've started doing that. Um, and that's how we're going to have to win the game. We're going to have to be dominant up front on both sides in order to continue our success. When you take over a new program, is there something in your mind that you want to see week to week? Were you expecting a certain point right now in October to say, hey, we're coming along well. Have you reached that point or are you behind it, ahead of it? What do you think? Um, that's very difficult to say. I never think we're where we need to be. You know, um, I, I remember in 2004, um, we won 13 and one, won the national championship. And the biggest thing I always remember about that season, it seemed like every week we got a little bit better. And if we had to played another game, I would have thought that we would improve some more, that we never really peaked. And um, I think that's the key to being successful is you, you continue to have a mentality that we come out here every day to get better. And um, that's probably the most pleasing thing with me. Our guys have learned that and they're starting to implement that each and every day. When you look at the stats, you're getting pretty balanced on offense. Have you been pleased with that? Do you want to see more of, of, of a certain thing? Well, my goal is to one day throw the ball every single snap in one game. Okay. And then the next game come out and run it every single play, and then I'd be have a balanced attack. So, um, you know, you don't. I don't look at that. I don't look into say, are we? What's our run pass ratio? Um, you know, we call plays that we think are going to work at that particular juncture in the game. And at the end of the game, if it's balanced, so be it. If it's not, um, that was just what we thought we had to do to win that particular ball game on that particular day. When you prepare for an option, I don't mean to keep coming back to the option, but. It's a big theme this week. Is, is practice different? I mean, do you have to spend more time learning because it's not just a reactionary thing that you guys have been through the last six weeks? Well, I think, first of all, Coach DeTavio has, has seen it so much, you know, that we have a good plan for it. And like I said, we, we sprinkle it in. We pick a couple days in spring that we work on our scheme against the option, same as in fall camp, so that, you know, when you get to this point, it's just not totally foreign. But um, practice is a lot slower on the days that um, – you play option teams because you got to teach the scout team how to do it. You know, we don't really have an option quarterback in the house. So 
Um, it, it's it's a unique challenge, and um, I, that's the reason people run it because it's a, it's very hard to prepare for. How big is discipline on defense facing an offense like that? Well, it, it's huge. I mean, you got to make sure you read your keys. You can't get fooled with the ball fakes, and um, like any option, you got to take care of the fullback first. And um, and if, if if he starts having a big day, um, boy, that that all attack's very difficult to stop.